Hi everyone, so hope you're all doing well today. So in this video, we're going to look at this question here, which is question three from the Edexcel 2018 uh, paper one, pure maths A-level exam. So we're gonna look at this question three here. And it's a question on arc length sector areas uh, using radians. It's kind of one of these type of questions. But before we get into today's video, please do make sure you do click like and click subscribe. Click that like button, click subscribe. It really helps me out and it's free. It doesn't cost you anything and it takes you less than a second. So please do click those buttons and we'll get into today's video now. So we've got a diagram here which shows a sector AOB, a uh, sector of a circle with a radius of R, and we've got an angle in radians of theta. So the key thing is that theta in radians. Uh, sorry, let me draw that line a bit better. Uh, so theta in radians. And we know the area of the sector is 11 centimetres squared. So let's just make a note of this. I mean, when, when we... um. When we get a piece of information like that, it's always good to think about what that means. So remember the formula for the area of a sector. So area of sector in radians is equal to a half of r squared times theta. So that's our formula that we use for the area um, the area of a, of a sector of radians. So we know that this half r squared times theta is equal to 11. Um, because that's that's what the information there tells us. So that's probably going to come in handy at some point. So we'll just bear that in mind. Uh, so the question is, given that the perimeter of the sector is four times the length of the arc, we want to find the exact value of R. So, I mean, we've got one equation up here, this, this equation there, which is going to help us out. But the problem is that we've got two missing values. We've got uh, a variable r that we don't know. We've got a variable, sorry, we've got a variable theta as well that we don't know. We've got two unknown variables. So in maths, when you have two unknown letters, two unknown variables in an equation, you need to try and come up with another equation with those two unknown variables. And then you can solve those two simultaneous equations together to find the r and theta values. That's the idea of these, these type of questions. So we need to use the information here this piece of information but the perimeter of the sector is four times the arc length so let's write this down in words so perimeter of sector so perimeter of sector is equal to four times arc length so what is the formula for the arc length of a sector so the arc length a to b what is the formula in radians so remember our formula uh, for arc length in radians is just simply r times theta, so r times the angle. Um, if you're unsure about how we prove these results, um, it, it's very simple. It comes from the formulas in, in degrees. So remember that a sector is a proportion of a circle. Um, so it's an angle over 360 degrees times by the area of a circle, which is part of squared. But in radians, 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. So that's where you can get this, this formula there from. And the arc length, very similar. You know that a circumference of a circle is 2 pi r 2 pi r is the circumference of a circle um but an arc length is a proportion theta over 360 of that circumference but in radians 360 is 2 pi so theta over 2 pi times 2 pi r you're going to get r times theta that's where the formula comes from anyway right so we know that we've got the perimeter of the sector is equal to four times the arc length which is r theta that's what we know now what is the perimeter of the sector can we come up with a formula for the perimeter of the sector well yes we can if we look to our, look at our diagram here the perimeter of this shape is r then plus the arc length so plus arc length sorry let me make my handwriting look a little bit better than that uh, arc length and then plus this additional r here OK, that's our perimeter of that sector. So what have we got then? We've got R plus R, which is two lots of R. Arc length is, well, the same as that there. So it's just R theta. And that's equal to four times R theta. So four lots of R theta. OK, so we're making some progress. So we've got two R plus R theta is equal to four R theta. OK, so what we can actually do just to uh, kind of make this equation look a bit more fancy is we can, we can actually factorize the R on both sides. So, sorry, on the left side, sorry. Uh, so factorizing the R on the left side, so we've got four R theta on the right side. But on, on the left side of this equation, we've got R times by two and then plus theta. So that's what we have there.
Okay, so we've got what we can actually, well, what we can do now is we can actually divide both sides of that equation by R. So why can we do that? Because if we divide this side by R and that side by R, the R's will just cancel out. So we can divide both sides by R. So we're going to get 2 plus theta is equal to 4 theta. We can then take away theta on both sides of the equation, and that's going to give us 2. The number 2 is equal to 3 theta, because 4 theta take away 1 theta is 3 theta. So therefore, we know that theta is equal to 2 over 3. Obviously, this is in radians, so it's 2 over 3 radians. That's our angle. OK, so now then, we know the angle is 2 over 3 radians. But let's go back to the information we calculated at the start of the question. We know the area of the sector is 11, because we can see that there. And that's equal to a half r squared theta. So now let's use that equation. Let's kind of use uh, the equation up there to help us out now. So remember, the area 11 is equal to half r squared theta. But we know theta is 2 over 3. So we know, therefore, that 11 is equal to a half times r squared times theta, which we know now, which we now know is 2 over 3, 2 over 3 like that. OK, so we've got um, 11 is equal to 1 over 2 times 2 over 3 times r squared. I'm just rewriting the order of these three terms there. Now, half of two thirds is just going to be one third. So we get 11 is equal to one third of r squared. If we times both sides by 3, we get that 33 is equal to r squared. And if we just square root both sides, we see that r is the square root of 33. Obviously, um, we're not going to take the negative square root of 33 because obviously a radius must be positive. So we know that r must be the square root of 33. Now, I'm just going to go back to the question and read do we need to give it an exact form? Yes, we want an exact value of r. So our exact value of r is exactly that there. So that is an exact value. The, the radius is the square root of 33, and that answers our question. So hopefully it was uh, it was good for you guys to see how we go for a question like that, where um, we've got to use our sector area formula and our arc length formula in radians to kind of use simultaneous equations to work out a missing variable. So hopefully that was useful. Um, but any questions, do drop a comment in the comment section. If you are interested in having an online maths tutor uh, for either A-level maths or GCSE maths, please do email me because I am available to help out. So my email is drdifferentiation at gmail.com. Uh, so just drop me an email, just drop me some details about you, uh, whether you're doing A-level maths, GCSE maths, and if there's any specific areas of maths that you need help with. So drop me an email or get your parents to drop me an email um, and then we can discuss um, everything about price, etc, etc. Um, so drop me an email and we can get sessions booked in.